The Coca-Cola International Premier Tennis League has moved on to its third and final location for 2016. The unique sights and sounds of Hyderabad in southern India playing host for the grand finale of this year's competition. To kick things off on day one in Hyderabad then, it was the third place Warriors taking on the Royals, who knew they needed back-to-back -back wins to have any chance of making Sunday's final. Marat Safin was too solid for Goran Ivanisevic as the Warriors took the opening set 6-3 before Anna Ivanovic brought the Royals back into it. Oh, that's a lovely shot. I love the footwork. So much she saw that high slow ball. So quick to shuffle in. She quickly finished off Karumi Nara 6-1 to put the Royals 9-7 in front. Ivanovic's form continued early in the mixed two alongside Danny Nesta. But Yelena Jankovic and Jean-Julien Roger slowly worked their way back into it with tennis like this. Oh, perfectly placed. Jankovic and Roger edged it on a breaker, which meant there was just a game in it going into the men's doubles. And it was Roger this time alongside Fernando Verdasco, who dominated with a six-love set. Brilliant. That's a lovely combination. Game. Roger delighted First with the quality of the return. That's why Verdasco was taking it. The final set saw Verdasco look to seal it for the Warriors against Thomas Burdick. And after the big check forced overtime, it was indeed Verdasco who wrapped up victory for his team. That'll do nicely. So Verdasco gets it done as far as the Warriors are concerned. So winning it in overtime, but crucially the Royals do get the bonus point for hitting 20. In the evening session, the Indian Aces playing on their new home court for the first time against the IPTL's reigning champions, the Singapore Slammers, who needed a win to boost their ailing title defence. The opening set saw a repeat of the lineup who produced the stunning set of doubles tennis the previous day. That was won by Dodig and Lopez, and it was the Aces on top again. Oh, that yeah. surge forwards Indian was always on, given the quality Indian of the return. And following an utterly dominant performance from Feliciano Lopez over Nick Kyrgios after two sets, the home side already had a commanding lead. Yeah. Couldn't play any better. That was a masterclass. Not many can put Kyrgios to the sword like that. The Slammers' fight back began with the ladies' singles. Kiki Burton's on top again against Kirsten Flipkins. Such good anticipation. Oh, that's too good. Lovely feel. Carlos Moya has been arguably the Slammer's star player this season, and the former world number one would again turn on the style against Aces captain Thomas Ankvist. Despite the Spaniards' best efforts, the Aces were still in front. Indian stars Bapana and Mirza needed a shootout to see out the match, but see it out they did. Nicely done. Yeah. They were put in as the closers, and they do their jobs. Good tennis. <laughs> So the Indian Aces are the first team confirmed in the IPTL final and it will be a straight shootout between the Slammers and the Warriors to decide who will join them. Day two in Hyderabad will feature the final two group matches before the top two teams go head-to-head -head in Sunday's grand finale.